you guys remember when I made a stage tier list? Well, Action Esports uploaded this like literally the day of. Why are 80% of melee stages banned? And I'm actually kind of curious because I know a lot of the like other stages that I know about, but I don't know about melee stages. So I'm kind of curious if they know more than I do. Super Smash Bros. Melee has a total of 29 stages. Today, six are used in competitive play. Yeah, all the other ones suck. I was gonna say, I, I think that's the video, is the rest are just bad. I thought there'd be some story. I, like the only one that isn't that bad is Congo Jungle but there's an entire set that decided what happened there, so. So why did 80% of the game's content get removed from competitive play? Today, we're going to look at Some what people makes still a use stage, City. what makes a bad stage, and how Melee's rule set has changed over time. You might- <laughs> Oh my god. This is what that shit looks like without Slippy. When they turn Slippy off, this is what I see. Early tournaments were lawless. Items on, five stocks, every single stage in play. Five that was the rule set for Tournament Go 3 in 2002. Hell yeah. By today's standards, it's almost another game entirely. So let's fast forward and set our start date in 2004, when the Melee Backrooms, or MBR rule set, was first set in stone. It's weird that we don't have a backroom anymore. I'm kind of happy about it. Were you guys around for Backrooms? Backrooms were a melee and brawl thing and kind of in Smash 4. It was basically like an elders council, okay? So the idea is you would be invited into the back room if you were a known figure or a top player or somebody who had some level of influence in the community, right? The idea is that you're, you're supposed to enter if you care about the good of the game and it's to get people's opinions about certain matters. What it actually ended up being in all actuality was a circle jerk club. Everybody just wanted to be a part of the club and say that they were part of the back room and not actually do anything. And if they did do ever anything, it would specifically to be to their own personal benefit. I was in the back room. I was in the brawl back room. On Smashboards, they gave you a purple name if you were in the back room. And everybody wanted the purple name because it meant that you were somebody. You meant something. I imagine everybody in there got a huge power trip. I don't know how it is in other fighting games or other games in general. I assume it's the same. But in Smash, it is extremely common for people to chase this phantom of relevancy this idea of being famous or known we don't have money so we need clout yes yeah, slime has talked about that in a, in a community without financial compensation the only real reward that you can get unless you're like made uh is adoration which is weird of the 29 available stages eight were banned right out of the gate first on the chopping block is hyrule temple which is just huge and easy to camp Yoshi's Island 64 is next. <laughs> this stage is reason. so funny. If I ever feel like be being a piece of shit, I load up this stage and I'm right there. I love this stage so much. This is legitimately some of the most fun you could ever have playing Smash, and I'm not joking. Just playing with your friends and getting on the cloud. And they're, Come on, man. Do Falco's lasers even make it? I think they run out. Kony is that guy in the free-for-all. Yeah, I'm that guy stretching out the camera so you can't see. I'm that guy making it so your character is this big and you're trying to fight everybody else. You're just a little tiny figurine. I love this stage so much. Venom slows the game down, has all sorts Venom. of janky walls, and our wings shoot you full of lasers. That shit used to be legal, I think. I don't know how that was ever legal. That shit seems easy to camp. Force Hide is pretty much all walls, has no real flat area to fight, and has a giant UFO that comes down and messes <laughs> things up. I played Ness in 64. It was crazy to me that these buildings, and this is melee, obviously, but this looks just like the Saffron City in 64. Ness gets fucked up by this on his own stage. Like, if you go down there, you can't come back because you can't loop the, the thing. You're just dead. This stage should be legal. I, I would like more stages, straight up. Great Seriously. Bay is tiny, has a disappearing turtle. I the love the turtle! The is like three feet from the stage. And also, this guy. Freak. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that sounded real. That wasn't acting. Oh my God. Little gremlin. Little baby man. Oh Icicle God. Mountain is banned. I didn't know people still hated Tingle. I thought that was over. Oh my God. So how did we shorten that list to just six? First, let's define what constitutes a quote-unquote bad stage. Okay. We can consider a bad stage to be anything that introduces excessive randomness, compromises the competitive integrity of the game by putting certain characters at a considerable advantage over others, or contains exploitable terrain. Temple is a great example of a stage that's just way too big. Okay. Yeah. If a player were using Fox, 
they could shoot a couple of lasers, get a percent lead, and then run around for 8 minutes until the timer winds down and they win by default. Same goes for Yoshi 64. So obviously... <laughs> I did, my, there's so much joy in my heart whenever I see that stage, even just for a moment. Too long didn't watch Melee players or whiny babies. So true, dude. Deal with it. Go get that fox. Oh, no, I can't catch him. Well, then maybe you should play fox. Maybe you should pick a character with a gun. The next thing is stage hazards, which includes things like falling objects. Flat zone, out. Walls are also a no-no. So, Dude, I, I hate, and I know this is so stupid, and I know this is low-hanging fruit, I hate how tiny, like, how does a ship come out of there? Like, how does that ship come out? How does Fox fit in the ship that comes out of there? I just, I don't like, I hate the great Fox. Perform infinites with characters like Fox, I, I hate Pikachu, how tiny Ness, Young Link, etc. We oh, also that's have an to infinite? be wary of the Cave of Life. Oh, I thought I clicked on a different vi- I was like, what the fuck? Did I get autoplayed? What the fuck is this? Which is a closed off section of the map where characters can live to insane percentages. Thank God they added, uh tech break it whatever it's called untechable thank god for that that's so good more stages had to be banned to avoid them being exploited the first thing we're going to look at is called a walk-off it's exactly what it sounds like it's a part of the stage where you can walk off to the blast zone five of them had walk-offs mushroom kingdom one and two yoshi's island onet and big blue i think onet was legal for a while i don't think onet is that bad i don't know uh... If you're at like 160 and you just sit by the by the corner, yeah. Walk-offs became a problem when Fox mains started getting more and more technical. For example, footage oh, of this yeah. tournament set surface <laughs> where Look Fox mains Elgatus put Eddie's Ganon in a blender and wave shined him up the hill oh on Yoshi's God. Island three times to win the game. With you can't do that on Onet though. You can't do that there. It's too tight. Like the house is too close. You wouldn't be able to get that off. Mushroom Kingdom 2 features Birdo. Birdo! In, shoots what looks like eggs, I love and then runs away. Onet has tons of weird geometry, no bottom blast zone, and random cars doing 90 in a school zone, dealing 30% to any children playing in the street. I think you could make Onet work. I really do. Stage freeze Onet, what, just so no cars? I think the cars are the least of your worries. People know that, right? Now we're moving into that stages bad. that are almost legal, like just on the edge of being playable, but not quite. This These stages legal were legal while. under the 2008 rule set, <laughs> but were banned shortly after. Did anybody else watch the Mario movie and were like, oh my god, is this a melee reference? Where the, 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 they keep bombing the castle? Nobody else did that? I did. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this is like the, the castle level in melee. Which is I love this level. This level bangs. In this section. I love this The giant this tower in the middle splits the map in two. There are platforms that appear when you step on switches. Bonsai Bill blowing up the map is understandably problematic. See, Bonsai Bill blows it up like in the movie with the nuke. Walls are problematic yeah. because if a Fox player is technical enough, they can trap their opponent against the wall and perform an infinite. For this reason, Corneria was also banned. Although it has other issues like R wings that come in and shoot you mid match, that's and the giant cool, laser though. cannon under the just nose don't of the jump. Ship. Thankfully, now that's we got dangerous. some sick combos before we said goodbye. But it's also dangerous. Like you don't want to be down there, right? Yo, <laughs> that's so fucking cool. I don't care what anybody says. Watching somebody lose hundreds of dollars because Slippy decided to take them off the top is so funny. <laughs> that shit is famous. This might be top 10 most famous melee clips. Top 20, surely. I mean, Wombo Combo is one. Funnily enough, three of the most borderline legal stages in the game all come from the same franchise, Donkey Kong. These are Congo Jungle, Congo Jungle 64, <laughs> and Jungle Japes. All these okay, so what is the Rishi thing? What What's the deal with that? What is that? It's, it's this stage, but how, what do you do? What makes it different? You don't want to know? <laughs> What is it? The video is goaded? Okay. I'll watch the video sometime. I've been to tourneys that have had Congo Jungle 64 legal. This is just a handshake between two players like, hey, are you a piece of shit? No, me neither. All right, let's go here. This stage is so cool aesthetically. This is like one of my favorite stages to look at. All three of these I hate stages that we can't have, have one thing in common. It's what happens under the stage. That Imagine living here. Is it always like this? It probably just like a monsoon, right? What is Cranky doing? Cooking something up. He's got a, a meth lab in there. <laughs> Bro got the beakers. Jungle Japes has a river that flows under it. 
Dude, it took me like eight years to figure out that there was an alligator on this level. Which is home to one of the deadliest- Yeah! There he is! Let's go! I did not know about this guy until like 2009. Seriously, I did not know he existed. Deadliest predators <laughs> known to man. I love the clap trap. I love clap who trap. comes out of nowhere to drag you to the depths of the glass zone. <laughs> Congo Jungle and Congo Jungle 64 both have big rotating barrels that go back and forth under the stage to catch anyone who falls into them. Which is kind of cool. In the barrel lets you shoot out of it to recover, but it's really, really difficult to aim accurately. And that's why it's cool. To compensate, that's neat. both of these stages have permeable floors. Meaning you can fly up Bro, that shit is permeable. I've been seeing through the bottom at any mad point. Permeable. Unfortunately, permeable floors are not tournament viable and lead to stuff like this. I mean, Stomper. Bro's got two spikes. Simply ban Peach. Yeah, dude, who else could do that? That's a Peach issue. Ban this versus Peach. Who else could do this? Puff. No. No, 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 no. I don't think Puff could up air this. Puff could in theory, but I don't think she's completely safe here. Puff could spam pound. Oh, I didn't think of pound. Never mind. <laughs> Let's continue. Speaking of... I was thinking of up air. I was going to say, you could trade with up air. And the newer of the two has logs that randomly appear, a rock on the side that can easily be camped, and, you guessed it, clap trap. Oh, he's here too? What the fuck? He's on this level too? I didn't know that. I didn't know that one. A red one? Oh my god. I love clap trap. Kony does not play casual stages. I really don't, dude. So I put out the um, the tier list of stages that I wish were legal and should be on. And, like, people are like, this is just a brawl tier list. This is a brawl stage list. And I was like, yeah, I've never played on the ultimate ones. People are like, what about Igdis Dr Yggdrasil or whatever that stage is? Or, like, Skyloft. I'm like, I don't know. I didn't play that shit. What the f***? According to the script in front of me, three Yay! of the last stages to be officially banned in Melee were Rainbow Cruise... Mute City and Poke Floats? I can't believe Let's just get this to it. stage Rainbow hasn't Cruise come back. Rainbow Cruise is a side scroller. The stage was a legal counterpick until 2010. It's a it wasn't cool until stage. Dr. Pee, Pee laid the smackdown on Mewtwo King at ROM 3 <laughs> that the stage was finally axed. Hmm, really? Must have been a back room discussion happening right after that. The floor of the track is also permeable. You can bounce off <laughs> it. F-Zero drivers, kill him! There are walls that appear and block recovery. Go up, Fox! <laughs> what kind of what kind of whiny-ass Fox would go into the stage and then complain they didn't recover? Oh, wait, all of them. Plus, floaties like Peach are OP, as shown by Armada at Genesis 1, where he beat Mango on the stage, and we haven't seen it as a legal counterpick since. Ah, okay. So if the wrong guy wins, we get rid of it. Okay, sure. I will say, though, Peach does seem very toxic and fucked up on this stage. But she also gets Dreamland, right? That also feels like a Dreamland thing. But no, actually, unironically, that doesn't seem fun or fair at all. <laughs> Finally, Poke Floats. Yay! I'm not going to say anything about this stage. I'm just going to let the montage play. Hey, it's in a predictable way. <laughs> Bring this back. <laughs> Eric, no. I can't believe they never made a second one. Make it Poke Floats 2 with the new ones, right? Like, that feels like a no-brainer. Just do that. Gardevoir float? Oh, God. Yeah, maybe don't give uh, modders that model. I think that's true. We shouldn't give that to ultimate folks. A tree that blows you sideways and a cute little cloud named Randall. It's not his name. In fact, oh God, oh Jesus, what the hell is happening? <laughs> okay, we should probably talk about this. Dude, how do we feel about Stadium? How do you guys feel about Stadium? Here we go, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, let, let, let me just, Frozen Stadium is based. Frozen Stadium doesn't hit the same. I don't care enough to feel about Stadium. Depends on if you're playing or just watching. Yeah, as a non as a non-player, don't listen to me. But also, like, come the fuck. It's like, what, 20 seconds? Some of the best moments in my mind, some of my most memorable moments, are watching two people flirt from across this tree. Two guys just standing here, one of them's like pretending like he's gonna hit the other, but he doesn't. There's that one uh the, the exchange between Wizrobe and Zane. Oh my god, dude. I just feel like it, it creates so many moments. Now, I'm not someone who has to compete in those moments, 
I'm not somebody who has hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on the line watching people go to war in the rock pit. But as an observer, I think we should keep that shit on. Pokemon Stadium is a great stage, really great. Good platforms, awesome length. There are just two issues with it. You can't really see yourself while you're recovering and the transformations. There's the pit, the cliff, the windmill. Jigglypuff's rollout goes hyperspeed on the grass. The Wait, tree does of it? I mean, cave of I didn't light. know that. On the fire transformation, the floor turns into not floor. Yo! And then this happens. He actually hit the, he hit the, I can't. He hit the thumbnail bump. I can't. Oh my god. Hey, it was only game two. He got down thrown by Falcon. He probably wouldn't. He shouldn't attack. He shouldn't attack. Plup ended up winning anyway. See? One of my favorite clips. Hold on. Pretty much the entire. Almost the entire. <laughs> I've never seen this one. He just walks off the map. Pretty much the entire, almost the entire length. What? 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 Did he die through the he tree? He just fell through yeah, the stage. Yeah, that happens. Uh, this is stupid. What is happens. <laughs> Get, getting some uh, some early dev testing from an eight-year-old. I can't believe it actually that. happened. Bro's I better. missed that. That kid's based. What's crazy, this is still Xanadu 162. When was this? This was only six years ago? Oh my god. Okay. How old was Zane? Probably six years. I'm, I'm going to guess he was 24 now. Probably 18. He looks younger than that. You think Zane is 24? Is he not? He's 26 or 27. I don't fucking know. I'm not parasocial for melee players. I don't know all their ages offhand off the top of my head. I just know the gods are too old to be doing this shit anymore. <laughs> but it makes two of them a lot of money, so we keep it up. Also, because they keep winning. I should have uh, led with that. They're they're not, like, bad. <laughs> Coney, why don't you play Melee? You're, like, 200 years older than Hbox. One, no. Two, I, 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 I have that story. I've told that story a lot. Brawl was coming out, and I figured that all the competitive players would be older than me in Melee. So I said, I'm not going to play Melee. I'm going to play Brawl. And then I showed up to my first Brawl tournament, and I was older than most of the good players. There is a world where Kony gets into Melee, and I'm a different person entirely. A worse person. I don't want to say that. Who knows what kind of person? Cringe Kony. We, we really just hate Melee players? Just unabashedly right here? Huh? Do you think past Kony would choose Puff too? I think past Kony would have... I was going to say, past Kony would have gotten fucked up on Jigglypuff. And then gotten annoyed and stopped playing. But maybe there's a world where I kept playing Jigglypuff and I kept getting more and more annoyed and I got more defensive and then I started playing really passively like a bitch. Because instead I did the opposite. Right? Now I play like a like a raging bull. I'm just a fucking moron. I just charge at people and bang my head against them until they die. Which means I'm very easy to bait and to do stupid shit because I want to do my thing. We hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. And if you could bring one band stage back into competitive melee, let us know in the comments which one you'd choose. I mean, probably this one. I love Mute City. Not a pretty good movie. Pretty good. Not bad. I kind of want, like, I don't know a billionaire to come into the melee scene and say, okay, I will give the top 64 of this tournament minimum $50,000. Do it like a Fortnite tournament, right? Where like even 64th place makes like $25,000. But you have to play my rules and they're just the most abhorrent shit you could imagine. <laughs> like he just really loves Pokeballs. He's like, Pokeball on. Pokemon all on and high. Every Pokemon stage on has to be. 